Let's just take one example in the world that we live in. Now, this is based in actual history. I'm not going to give you some gobbledygook, like, or I'm not going to give you some, some, you know, Christian thing and say, look, there's a, there's a miracle. The Moses part of the Red Sea. Go read the Bible yourself. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to demonstrate to you with tools that you don't believe because that wouldn't be, that's, that's ridiculous. I will use things from actual history. Actual history that you don't know exists from history books. Established fact that nobody disputes. How are you going to do that when they don't exist? Because I'm telling you the truth. I, you do not know what you do not know. There is way more to the story than you are aware of. For example, there is a thing, an event in history known as the miracle of Dunkirk. Well, who calls it a miracle? Who's calling it a miracle? It is established in a history book as the miracle of Dunkirk. That is what's called in the history book. Go look it up. When we're done with this, Google it. You will be amazed at what you don't know. Starting with the fact that the miracle of Dunkirk, prior to its occurrence, the entire nation of England, or the entire nation of believing Christian England, was mobilized to pray for the English army. To what? To fast and to pray for the English army. And then what happens? A day later, the miracle of Dunkirk. So an entire nation, entire nation of believers is mobilized to fast and pray. And what happens a day later? The miracle of Dunkirk. I don't call it that. Christians don't call it that. It's in your history book as the miracle of Dunkirk. Hitler decides mysteriously to not, the English army is pinned against the English Channel. On the ropes, beaten all but defeated, and Hitler mysteriously decides to, instead of moving the panzers in and destroying and annihilating them, Goering con convinces him to let him use the Luftwaffe to take out the English army. This is a true fact of history. Go look it up. And it's history itself that refers to as the miracle of Dunkirk. Properly understood, this alone should give you fear of God. The Bible says, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Properly understood, this miracle alone should give you fear of God. But I'm going to go, I'm go, I got thousands of these. Thousands of these. Thousands of these all the time that you don't know. So, Hitler mysteriously decides to allow Goering to use the Luftwaffe to destroy the English army. And what happens? A miracle. It gives the English army the, the ability to evacuate. After England prays and fasts, millions of boats and ships are, are brought to, the, to, to evacuate the English army. A miracle. I can hear it. That, that's, that's just a coincidence. That's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? You don't think that's a big coincidence? I mean, I would assert that that coincidence alone is probably mathematically impossible. But that's only one of thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands and I'm not kidding when I tell you this. There's a thousands of these and you don't know them. Just taking the history of World War II alone, there are hundreds upon hundreds of coincidences that enabled the Allies to triumph over the Nazis. Coincidences. There are thousands of them. So that's just the start. That's just the beginning. You don't have to write back and say it doesn't prove anything. I'm not saying it proves anything. It's just the start. A seed planted in your brain. That's all it is. History itself calls it the miracle of Dunkirk. And it's a pretty big coincidence that the entire nation of England is mobilized to fast and pray and Lo and behold, a miracle occurs where they are able to evacuate the English army so that it's not completely destroyed. That's a coincidence. That's a pretty, pretty big coincidence.